anyone, anyone in any shape, form of life to come and gain the knowledge and wisdom for what spirituality really has to offer. Absolutely amazing to have you all here gathered, congregated for The Secrets of Mind Power with me, Donna Easton. Hello, nice to see you. And in a moment, I'm going to be welcoming the man himself on screen. Um, first of all, hello, everybody. Um, I hope you can all see us. Um, let us know if we're beaming out. Um, it's really good to see you all. Let us know where you're calling in from and uh, watching from. It's uh, beautiful to see you all. I'm so excited for this evening and um, I know that you are too. Um, I am going to welcome the great man to your screens in a second. So Paul McKenna, PhD, globally renowned hypnotherapist and behavioral scientist, an international best-selling author, prominent media personality who has helped millions worldwide improve their lives through the power of hypnosis and hypnotherapy and has personally trained thousands of hypnotherapists. Paul has a huge long list of clients, a who's who, celebrities here, there and everywhere go to the great man to improve their lives. And Paul has long been sought after for his one-on-one -on -one hypnotherapy sessions and is one of the world's most successful self-help authors, selling over 12 million books. That's enough from me. I'm going to welcome the man to your screens. It's Mr. Paul McKenna. Hello. Hi, Donna. Hi. Very nice to meet you. And nice to be with you this evening. Quite right. And how are you this evening? Well, do you know, I'm great. I'm, uh, I'm very excited about this tonight because a lot of people ask me, um, isn't hypnosis, you know, what you do, isn't that a mind control? And I say, yeah, it is. It's giving you more control over your mind, uh, therefore your thinking, your feelings, your behaviors, and ultimately the results that you get in life. So we, we thought tonight, call it mind power, because what we're going to do is just delve into what po what's possible in terms of you having more control over your thoughts and feelings and behaviors, and then the kind of results that you manifest in life. And so that's really what tonight is about, Donna. I'm incredibly excited. So you... <laughs> Is there still, do people still kind of come to you and ask about hypnotherapy and hypnotism and the difference between those two things? And like, you know, we, we have, we go into this kind of understanding and knowing and allowing ourselves to kind of, to be, to be part of this with you, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, when I started out 40 years ago, hypnosis was voodoo. Nowadays, hypnotherapy, you know, which is what I teach and I practice, is very much mainstream science and is, is widely accepted. In fact, you know, millions of people all around the world uh, use hypnotherapy every day. And it's particularly good. It's the best way for quitting smoking in the world, statistically. It's great for helping people lose weight, become more confident, overcome phobias, sleep better. But it's also really good for optimizing yourself. So it's not just for remedial purposes. It's actually great for making you an even better version of you, moving beyond self-sabotage or imposter syndrome and becoming that sort of ultimate you, living life at your true potential. 
I love that. And in the work that that we do and the amount of people that we meet in this uh, in this field who talk about these kind of these negative voices and self sabotage. And I think one of the first things you're going to be sharing is um, is kind of is how we master those emotions, how we how we how we become the master of our own thoughts, the master of our own our own vo- inner voices, I suppose. Well, yeah, I'm going to do a quick technique with you because um, I'm going to I'm going to give you a taste of the sort of things that I do. Now, you know, when I say to somebody, I'd like you to visualize, pretty much everyone goes, yeah, but one or two people say, oh, I don't think I can visualize. And I know, I say, I know you think that. But when I talk about visualize, think about what color your front door is. And is the handle on this side or this? And does the door open this way or that way? Yeah. So basically, if you're able to do that, you visualize very well. Think about what the Eiffel Tower looks like. You're visualizing it. Yeah. So that's what I mean by visualizing. And people go, well, but it's not as real as reality. No, that's a good thing to, to that's a very good thing because if it was as real as reality, what you were, you know, either remembering or imagining, then you'd get confused with reality. And that wouldn't be a good thing. So we need to know the difference. So for our first process, I'm just going to ask you to, if it's safe, close your eyes for a moment. And I'd like you to imagine a great big cinema screen in front of you. And on that screen, I'd like you to see a you, a you that's um, very happy, a you that's confident. Look at your posture, a you that's exuding happiness. And I'd like you to look at your posture and the expression on your face. Look at the light behind your eyes. Notice the way that you connect with other people. This you, this you that's in a fantastic place mentally and physically. Look at the way that you connect with people. And the sound of your voice, strong and positive. And then what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to imagine floating over and into the cinema screen and step into this more confident, more happy, more optimized you. See through the eyes of your happier self. Look at the world from this perspective. Hear your internal dialogue saying, all is well. All is well. And feel how good it feels to be in this more confident you. Notice where you feel the feelings strongest of all. And I'd like you to give those feelings a color, just in your mind now. That's it, any color you like. And imagine moving that color up through your body, into your neck and into your head and all the way down. Move that color down into your shoulders, into your arms and hands and fingers. Move that color down through your chest, into your legs, to the tips of your toes, and double the brightness and double it again and double it again. That's right, until you're glowing with this happy, confident feeling. And then from this place, I'd like you to imagine another cinema screen in front of you. And on that screen, I'd like you to see an even more confident, even more happy, even more optimistic, joyous and motivated you. Look at your posture. Look at the expression on your face, the light behind your eyes and the way you connect with people the way you radiate joy and happiness. That's right. And when you're ready, I'd like you to float into the screen and step into this even more confident, happy, and joyous you. See through the eyes of your optimized self. Hear your internal dialogue inside your mind say, all is well. And feel these good feelings. And notice once again where you feel them. Give them that same color and move that color up through your neck into your head and down through your shoulders into your arms and hands and fingers. Imagine that color moving down through your chest into your legs to the tips of your toes until you're glowing with happiness and joy and confidence. And then from this place, I'd like you to imagine another cinema screen. And on that screen, I'd like you to see the ultimate you. A you that's totally confident, full of self-belief, full of creativity and joy and motivation and optimism. What's your posture look like? What's the expression on your face? That's right. Notice the way you connect with other people, the way you gesture. And everything about you that exudes confidence, joy and happiness. And then float into the screen and step into this ultimate you. See through the eyes of your ultimate self. Hear your internal dialogue, strong and positive. Inside your mind say, all is well. And then once again, 
Notice where those good feelings are strongest and give them that color and move that color up through your neck into your head, all the way down through your shoulders, into your arms and hands and fingers, down through your stomach, into your legs, and then double the brightness and double it again. And then imagine waking up tomorrow feeling this good. Waking up next week feeling this good. Waking up next month feeling this good. Next year, years from now. And in fact, imagine taking this wonderful aura and this great feeling with you into your home life. How good is it? Taking it into your work life. Maybe dealing with challenging situations, but feeling this resourceful into your social life. And keep surrounded by this beautiful color for the rest of this webinar this evening. And then when you're ready, open your eyes and come on back out feeling good. There you go. Feeling good. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to wait for everybody to kind of come back in the room. I've got this gorgeous vision of these incredible little pockets of colour. You know, like when you kind of zoom out from the earth and you see all those little, the little lights from an aeroplane. I've got this, I've got this vision of all of these pockets of colour all around the world, kind of wow. sitting, watching this this evening, which is quite a beautiful thing. Um, thank you so much. That was... Uh, that was incredible. It's so, it's just so, it feels like such a beautiful, beautiful thing to be able to do. And I kind of always wish that I'd have a kind of Paul McKenna in my pocket to be able to lift me up whenever I need that. So thank you. What colours have we got in the chat? We've got oranges, we've got pinks, we've got, yeah, gorgeous colours. If anybody does have any questions, please do kindly pop them into the chat and we will endeavour to kind of answer those questions as we go. Um, so please do that and um, thank you so much. So, uh, we're, so I'm excited because that is kind of a, a demonstration of of how we could how we can access some of that feeling to kind of take us throughout our day. What you have coming up in October, the 5th and 6th of October, is a Change Your Life in Two Days event. Now, um, we're really excited to talk about that this evening as well, so that people can kind of really get the full immersive Paul McKenna experience and and really change their life in two days. And day one, I know you start with mastering our emotions and running our brain. Like, could you give us a little, a little bit of info on what that looks like? Okay, so basically, um, all the results that you get in life, um, everything that you achieve comes from your behaviors. Your behaviors are driven by your states of mind and body. And for example, love, anger, apathy, fear, concentration, motivation, they're all states. The state of mind and body you're in when you wake up is different to when you're in a meeting or giving a presentation to when you're, you know, I don't know, having lunch or when you're relaxing in the evening. So we move from different states all day long. And the people that have greater success in life tend to be those people who are in optimum states. Now, of course, we can't avoid uncomfortable states because they're part of life. Fear from time to time or anger or grief or whatever, you know, they're, they're a part of everyday life. But those people that tend to be um, more successful tend to be in optimum states. And also, it's just more comfortable and nice to be in those. And they're created by the way we've picture things in our mind, the way we talk to ourselves, mm -hmm. and also our physiology. They're all interlinked. And so what I do is explain how that works. And we do various processes so that you are able to get more control instantly over the way you think and feel there for the way you behave and the results you get in life. Okay, that sounds, yeah, that sounds incredibly exciting. I know we're going to be talking a little bit more about that in a little while. Um, for the rest of the, um, I suppose, the next few minutes, we are going to be sharing um, the reducing anxiety, how to live a richer life. Now, anxiety is something that so many of us I suppose live with we we try and kind of manage it sometimes but but the idea of 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 finding a way where we can actually um be able to kind of overcome anxiety and reduce anxiety feels like something that would be incredibly useful to me and to I know so many people across the world so I'd love to hear a bit more about that and um and kind of take us on to that next that next demonstration okay. 
Well, you know, if you open a newspaper or turn into a, turn on the TV or the radio right now, you're under attack. It's the war. It's the virus. It's the it's the economy. It's you know whatever. It is. There's there's just plenty to feel anxious about. And understandably, we live, you know, in a, in a time where things are changing very fast. Um, and since the pandemic, people have gotten very good at catastrophizing, you know, suddenly making themselves very anxious because the, the anxieties in the family of fear and the job of fear is to say, be prepared. So if, for example, I'm about to step off the curb and there's a bus coming, I want fear to pull me back and keep me alive. I just don't want to live in it. So there are a number of techniques that dramatically reduce fear very quickly. And there's one that's um, part of a, a family of new techniques called psychosensory. So, you know, the, the, uh, my introduction to psychosensory was TFT, uh, the tapping technique, which is based in Eastern medicine. And it was created by my dear friend, the late uh, Professor Roger Callahan. And in the same way that we have blood flowing through our veins, we have uh, in Eastern medicine, uh, energy flow through the meridians. And the basis of Eastern um, medicine is that if uh, we are unwell, it's because there's a block. Yeah. And uh, so uh, the idea is to stop the stagnation and make the energy flow. The next technique I'm about to show you is created by my dear friend, Dr. Ronald Rudin, MD and Harvard PhD. He was he's a hard scientist and he wanted to discover why, you know, these these tapping uh, points worked. And he came about it as a Western doctor, completely different uh, approach. And he found that there, the touch of certain parts of the body create what's called the delta wave, right? And this is synonymous with deep relaxation. I mean, if you just do this for a moment, right? It feels comforting. When you were a, a baby, your mother held you in her arms and now you are hardwired. If you do this, it feels comforting. So what I'm going to ask you to do is you, if, if you're stressed about something or upset or you feel anxious or you can find something, you know, you go, yeah, that makes me feel uh, uneasy and stressed and anxious and worried or just, you know, some uncomfortable feeling. Just do this. Touch just the side of your arms like this. We, we're going to do a process over the next few moments. And what will happen is we're going to reduce that uncomfortable feeling and make you feel much calmer more peaceful and more in control of your feelings. So you need to keep stroking the side of your arms like this. Remember, this, this may look unusual, but there is a mountain, I've got it here actually, of scientific research. When people say there's no um, scientific evidence for this, there's actually mountains of it. Um, this technique is called havening, as in a safe haven. So what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to close your eyes if it's safe to do so. And I'd like you to keep stroking the side of your arms. And I want you to get in touch with the stress, the anxiety, the fear, the upset, whatever it is. That's it. And I want you to summon it. Summon it this moment. That's it. Summon it. As, that's it. Collect it all up. That's it. Collect it all up. I know you might feel a little uncomfortable for a moment. Collect up all that anxiety and stress. And then clear your mind. Keep stroking the side of your arms. Clear your mind. And imagine we're walking together on a beach. And with each footstep that you take in the sand, we're going to count out loud from one to 20. Do it with me now, stroking the side of your arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keep stroking the side of your arms. And I'd like you to remember a happy time, any happy time. Maybe you're laughing with friends or you've just fallen in love or you'd achieved something or you were just relaxing. And return to that time like you're back there again. Now, see what you saw. Hear what you heard and feel how good you felt. And as we did in the previous exercise, notice where the feelings, good feelings are strongest. And once again, give them that color and move that color up through your neck into your head, down through your shoulders into your arms and hands and fingers, down through your chest into your stomach, through your legs to the tips of your toes and double the brightness. Then imagine we're walking in a beautiful garden on a summer's day, still stroking the side of your arms. 
And with each footstep, we're going to count out loud from one to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now with your eyes closed, put your arms out in front of you with your palms facing up. And I'd like you to put the uncomfortable feeling, the stress, the fear, the upset, whatever it is, in one of your hands. That's right. Put it all there. And in the other hand, I want you to put peace, calm, comfort. Now move your attention to above your head. So you're thinking from a little bit above yourself. That's right. You can look down upon yourself and now experience those two emotional states, the uncomfortable feeling and the peace, the uncomfortable feeling and the calm, the uncomfortable feeling and the comfort. And when you're ready, relax, open your eyes, come on back out, feeling peace, calm, and comfort. I kind of don't want to talk too loud. I want to let people <laughs> kind of stay in that space. I didn't want to come and like high vibe into the room. Um, thank you. Uh, there's something about your voice, Paul, that is just just utterly mesmerizing. I think it's just this kind of um, yeah, so soothing. But that that technique and the um, just the the comfort behind that te technique. There's something so yeah, just so incredibly beautiful there. And um, and I do hope that that has been beneficial, as beneficial to the people in the watching around the world as it has to, um, yeah, to me right now. So thank you. Um, I wanted to kind of move on to, um, to the next to the next step and the next uh, the next exercise for our um, for our um, webinar this evening. Um, so many, I think, you know, manifestation, leading a living a rich life. It's kind of really, kind of into the zeitgeist of our of our world right now. Now, I know that you've been talking about this living a richer life for well for as long as I can certainly remember. Um, do you think people are kind of starting to understand a little bit more the process behind the kind of the, the how our brains can start to affect? the way that we're living our lives. Oh, absolutely, Donna. I mean, you know, when I started out, as I say, 40 years ago, self-help was all a bit woo-woo. Nowadays, mm. you know, people are very interested in mind, body, spirit. They're very interested in uh, modern psychological techniques to help them um, uh, overcome problems and also get the edge. But also um, manifesting. You know, manifesting to me is creating something. You know, and we're all we're all able to do that. We're all creative people. You know, sometimes people say, oh, I'm not creative. They think, you know, creative people are those types who have a bow tie and work in an ad agency. No, you know, when you um, go on a journey, you, know, you drive the car, you're creating a journey. If you cook dinner, you're creating a meal. You know, if you're talking to someone, you're creating a conversation, a debate. We're all creating all day long. And the thing that's really interesting is, and again, we know that people who, you know, set goals, not the same as wishes, you know, New Year's resolutions are like wishes. Oh, I wish I could quit smoking or lose weight. But people have goals. They have a, a you know, they know what they want. They, uh, they've they got a strategy. They know what might get in the way and how they're going to overcome it. They're just more likely, significantly more likely to achieve what it is they want. So when I talk about a rich life, because I've written about this, um, I'm talking about more than just money. I'm absolutely mm. talking about money. I'm talking about abundance. But for me, a rich life is about a balance. This is my personal take. Um, you know, um, Bob Marley famously said, some people are so poor, all they have is money. Now, uh, for me, a rich life starts with health. It's also about relationships, personal and professional. It's ab about career. It's about finances, absolutely. And it's also about, say, spirituality and general levels of happiness. 
And um, I've done a lot of work in the last uh, few decades in helping people um, who were in a bad place get into a good place, but also studying high achievers. So those people that excel, you know, at, at things. Um, when I when I talk about people that are, are super successful, to me, successful people are not people who are just successful in one area at the cost of everything else. So, you know, if you're a workaholic and it affects your health and your relationships, to me, you're not successful. You know, you might you might just, um, you know, have made a lot of money or something like that. So a rich life is one which ticks all the boxes I've just mentioned. And I've got some pretty good strategies for helping people to achieve a richer life. I'm so excited to hear that. I the 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 manifestation message is, um, yeah. I think even when I when I bought your one of your books when I was you know in my twenties, I remember kind of had this had the CD in the back and um, I'd listen to those and and actually I think that was before I'd even heard of the word manifestation and um, and I suppose. A lot of people think that manifestation is just about the thought, right? But there, there's there's other stuff that, that the thought is just the start, right? We can't just lay in bed and think about a Ferrari, I assume. That's right. I mean, that's people wishing for something. Look, if all we had right. to do was wish, we'd all be living in mansion houses, you know, with fabulous lovers, big cars, or whatever it is. I don't know. Um, what I do when I do manifesting is I do a slightly different version to everybody else. I do something I call power manifesting. Now, regular manifesting is vision boards and goal setting. And that's great, right? But that's 2D, right? 3D is when you imagine having achieved your goal and you immerse yourself in it. And you see it, you hear it, you feel it, right? And what I do when I take the next jump is I look at something that I know is going to happen. So, for example, the way I code time, and most people do, is I see what's going to happen next week there, the week after there. Christmas is a bit further in the summer, you know, it's further out. Some people go left to right, but we all have ways of coding time. So what you do is you take something that you know is going to happen in your neuro coding, in, you know, your spatial alignment, in your internal world, and you put something you want to have happen there. What happens is suddenly all of your energy, all of your motivation, all your thinking, your creativity, your focus suddenly directs towards that. Now, I could explain to you, you know, go into a whole quantum rap on, you know, how this happens energetically, but I'll just put it simply to, to you like this. Energy affects energy, right? That's, mm -hmm. you know, and, and there's a very good um, quantum explanation on how, you know, thinking and focusing on something, how we bring it about. There's also a good psychological explanation, you know, that just by putting more effort into something, it's more likely to happen, you know. One of the things I say about um, um, not having goals is it's a bit like um, setting off in a boat without a rudder. You could end up anywhere. So it's a very good idea to have a direction in, in life. And so the word manifesting is sort of associated with sort of new agey stuff. But really, it's it's in the family of goal setting, of achieving and getting what it is you want. It's beautiful. And um, you talk about energy attracting energy. And I can I can feel the, your energy kind of blasting through the the internet wires um do they have wires anymore um anyway um but i think you're going to give us a little taste now paul aren't you um uh, do a, a, an exercise on living a on how we can access a, a richer life yeah so let's let's do it right this is, this is um uh what i'd like you to do is notice how it is that you think about time right and it's a very good idea to get interested in the future because you're going to be spending the rest of your life there and uh, I've noticed that, you know, most people spend more time making a list for the supermarket than they do the next year or five years of their life. Right. If you put vagueness out, you're going to get vagueness back. Right. So when I think about next week, it's about there. If I think about things I know they're going to happen next month, it's there. Next year, it's further that way. Some people, as I mentioned, the past is on the left. Presence here and the future goes off to the right. Some people, it curls around. Just notice where next week, next month, six months and a year are for you in terms of how you spatially picture it. Now, if it's safe to do so, close your eyes and float out a year into the future. And I'd like you to imagine that you've had one of the best years of your life. It's one year from now, you're out in the future on your timeline, and it's, it's been one of the best years of your life. If that's true, what must have happened in regard to your health, both mental and physical? 
If you've had one of the best years of your life, what must have happened in regard to your relationships, personal and professional? If you've had one of the best years of your life, what must have happened in regard to your career? Your finances, your spirituality, and your general levels of happiness. Just get a sense of it's a year from now and you've had one of the best years ever. What's life like? Really get to sense it, see it, hear it, feel it. Yeah, how good does that feel? And now what I want you to do is keep the good feelings, but float back and leave a big picture on your timeline one year from now of you and your life, but make sure you look healthy, happy, and successful in that picture. And then float back three months from that and ask yourself, what happened three months before? Just get a sense of it. And then float back three months from that and ask yourself what happened before that. Just get a sense of it. And then float back another three months, get a sense of what happened, and then float all the way back to now. And then I'd like you to see, as you look out into your future, a succession of images, and as they move further away, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. Brighten them up, and in each picture, make, make sure that you look healthy, happy, and successful. So you can see yourself three months, six months, nine months, and big picture 12 months from now, with your life in amazing shape. Your health, your relationships, your career, your finances, your spirituality, and your happiness. And put pictures even further off into the distance. Two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, or 50 years. That's it. See a long and happy life ahead of you. And one of the golden rules in modern psychology is you get more of what you focus on. So as you focus on this every day, you look at the direction of your life. You see yourself happy and successful. It's just more likely to happen. Then when you're ready, open your eyes and come on back out, feeling good. And remember, keep looking at that every day. Oh my goodness, this is so brilliant. I, um, yeah, I loved that. I think that was, yeah, that was very special. I, I, could, I, could, I could see it. It's like it, you, you make it tangible, Paul. It's really, yeah, it's such a beautiful exercise. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm ridiculously excited. I'm chomping at the bit to kind of really dig deeper on some of this stuff. I've, I've, I've had amazing value from this last half an hour. And I know that you've got this fantastic event on the 5th and 6th of October. Um, I'd love to chat a little bit about it, if that's yes, all right sure. with you. 100%. Great. Um, Josh, would you be able to put up, because uh, just to, to let, uh, let, any, every, let everybody know that it's um, it's a two-day event. Now, there are in-person events, it, it, the, the, an in-person tickets available in London, but it's also going to be happening online as well. So, um, so it's in-person and there's a live stream. Now, I know that the in-person event, we have sold out um, a huge amount of tickets for the in-person. It's a very, it's a limited, small kind of exclusive group. And we have about 15 tickets left for the in-person. I'll be sharing all of the um, the prices in a sec. But I just wanted to have a little chat about kind of what the, the I suppose what the days would will look like. So um, I know lots of these events, Paul, um, you know, the, the kind of the the expert will be in for five minutes, do a kind of hello, everybody, and then run off. And then lots of other people come in and do their thing. I know that it's you and an incredible guy called Steve Crabb. We're going to be speaking about speaking about in a sec. But, you know, how much how much Paul McKenna are we getting in these two days? So I'll be on stage at least 50, if not 60 percent of the time. Um, and I, I'm there most of the two days, you know, because um, um, it, it's um, it's something I really enjoy doing. I mean, I do a lot of webinars, you know, these days. I, I still love being in an auditorium where there's people where I can, you know, 
invite people onto the stage and do demonstrations, work with people one-to-one where I can talk to people, meet people. So I'm there at least half of the time on the stage, that is, but I'm there more of the time as well. So I don't just show up like uh, some people do for the photos and then go off. Not, you, know, you, don't actually... you don't helicopter you in, then helicopter no. you out again. No, no, no. <laughs> Josh won't, so cool. won't uh, stump up for the helicopter. No. <laughs> It's called Change Your Life in Two Days. And um, I know that so many people, like lots of people have been to your events before, seen you do uh, these kind of things. Like, like, can we change our life in two days? I, I, I just love oh. the title and I love the, I love the, the idea of it. I've, I've seen people change their life in 20 minutes, right? You Ooh. know, I, I mean, when I've worked with them with a particular technique, bam, suddenly they stop self-sabotaging or they suddenly get a breakthrough in an insight. I've seen people change their life in, in like minutes. You know, they just suddenly get to a point where they go, I'm just not doing that anymore and I'm now going to do this. Or suddenly they get an inspiration about the way they can see things working. Or, you know, how it is you meet a particular person and in that moment your life changes. So this whole idea that, you know, life change takes a long time um, is nonsense. I, I think, I mean, it can take a long time if you want, but um, I've worked for the last few decades on helping people make fast, dramatic, a powerful and lasting change. And, you know, sometimes it works bam like that. Sometimes it takes a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, time to do it. But, you know, you're in a room with two hypnotists for a weekend. You know, you're going to change for the better. Right. And I suppose there's 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 you two, these, you know, Paul McKenna, the main man, and we've got Steve Crabb. And um, and I suppose also there's a there's a beauty in being in the room with a whole bunch of people that are also kind of looking forward and wanting to change. And also if you're tuning in online, you're part of that sort of wider online community as well. Yeah, there's a, there's usually a really great atmosphere. I mean, you know, this isn't we 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 don't teach like a lecturer would. You know, uh, this is a coaching experience. It's dynamic. It's immersive. So generally, what I tend to do is explain something. You know, um, and you know, for example, I know I might say, "Who's frightened of public speaking?" And you know, a few hands go up, and I'll say, "Come and join me." And somebody's terrified. A couple of minutes later, it's gone. Right, and I'll say, "Right." You see what we just did there? Let's all do that, right? And I do it on everybody. So it has a, a very dynamic feeling about it. And um, the chap that you mentioned that I work with, Steve Crabb, I've worked with for about 20 years. We're very different in style. Um, and so it's a nice compliment, a nice balance. Um, but we're, we're, I mean, Steve's been doing this for a long time. He's a real Rolls Royce uh, therapist, coach, coach to, you know, high achievers. Uh, he's very expensive, by the way, and <laughs> and also um, we both um, we both want to make learning fun. So we certainly bring a sense of humour. You know, it's 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 not a lecture; it's a dynamic coaching experience. Amazing, amazing, Josh. Can we have a look at what the day is going to? Sorry, Josh is yes, here he is, like magic, Josh. Um, so I know you've 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 kind of given us some demos um this evening on some of these um some of these uh, topics. We've got mastering your emotions and running your brain, but I'm I'm assuming that that what you've shown us today is kind of a taster, yeah. and 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 we're going to be we're going to be diving much deeper on the on the full two day experience, right? That's that's absolutely right. Yeah, what we did early is just like a, you know, look at the menu. It's not tasting the food, and mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So basically, you, you you will be able to switch off overwhelm and go into optimum states by practicing it again and again in the first section uh, of the day. Amazing. So then we've got the power of perspective and changing beliefs, belief changing, and the power of perspective. So we're talking about uh, you. You. You say what? What? T describe what well, that. What that. Looks okay. Like. So again, basically, you know, you know what it's like. You know, when you feel good, the world looks different, right? Imagine if you could change your perspective so that you see opportunity. So that uh, you know, you have this like uh, it's more than a glass half full outlook. It's not you know deluding yourself, but just basically being in a very positive, resilient, resourceful state of mind. But also changing beliefs. So if you've got beliefs that hold you back, if you think you're not worthy or you're not good enough or nothing good's going to ever happen to you, bam! You know we change those, and of course, as a result, you change, the world changes because your behaviors and the way you interact with life changes. 
And then we have overcoming self-sabotage. Now, this is one of my key, um, you know, the monkeys are, the monkeys love to chatter away, Paul. So overcoming self-sabotage. Um, give the audience a little kind of breakdown of what that looks like. Okay, so um, a lot of people sabotage themselves because say they have an experience early in life, maybe like for me, example, for example, my, you know, early love life was, you know, bit up and down and so I then basically formed a belief in the subconscious that falling in love meant getting hurt so every time I you know I'd start a, a relationship I'd sabotage it you know some people do it with um their weight you know and they think oh I'm gonna fail and you know and so I might as well get the pain out of the way and sabotage it now some people just have imposter syndrome you know when they move up a stage in life they go oh am I really worthy am I going to get found out etc and we have some very powerful beautiful um, in fact, deceptively simple techniques that gently take those barriers away so that you're able to fulfill more of your potential. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. We, we chatted a lot about anxiety earlier in the webinar, um, overcoming anxiety and finding inner peace. Again, I'm assuming this is a much more drilled down approach to, to the techniques that we've seen this evening. Yeah. I mean, you know, we had a we had a small sample of the havening technique. But yeah, we spend time on, uh, again, removing blocks, uh, dealing with anxiety, fear, unnecessary fear, that is, and also um, finding this beautiful inner peace and stillness. Uh, there's a wonderful meditation I like to use uh, that's created by my friend Genpo Roshi, which is called Big Mind. And I do my funky NLP version of it but it takes you into this beautiful state of Samadhi Satori, where you feel a oneness with everything. And uh, it really is, um, uh, people tell me it's uh, uh, the most still their mind has ever been. And it's like a euphoria. So we snuggle up in bed after day one, feeling utterly shifted. And then we come the next day for day two, which is um, creating a rich mindset and a compelling future. So we're kind of, so day one, I suppose, is kind of dealing with what we have right now. And then I suppose day two, we start to then really look to the future. Have I got that? Have I got that right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, um, you know, over the years, I've worked with super achievers from the world of sports, the arts, uh, business, and there's certain very simple ways that they have of looking at the world and doing things and things they don't do. And so we teach those sort of principles then um, very important to discover what it is you want, right? And to get in touch with that. And I find the best way to do that is to go to your values, those things that are most important to you. Because, you know, if you say to somebody, what is it you want? And they say, oh, uh, money. You might go, well, what does the money give you, get for you, do for you? The old oh, feeling of security. So security is the value, right? So, you know, if we think about what's most important to us, it might be those things I mentioned earlier, things like health and relationships and things like that. So we've got a process or processes to help people get really clear about what it is they want. And the rich mindset, now this is something that's um, come from my work with super rich people uh, and by manifesting money, at, but also a rich in every sense, life, you know, so in terms of health and everything else. Uh, and that's something that, again, I have a series of techniques for uh, that so, sort of turbocharge your mindset in terms of abundance. And finally, we finish the day with a uh, focus on happiness, because it's really interesting, you know, since the 1940s, we're not really any happier whenever it's measured um, than we were in the 40s, yet we've more freedoms, we're richer, we're healthier, etc. And I think this comes down to simply we've mistaken pleasure for happiness. Pleasure is a bubble bath, a glass of champagne, buying a new car. Happiness is when we're living our values. And so again, um, what we do is remember, me and Steve are hypnotists, we rather than install our model of happiness within you, we elicit from you what will make you happier and help you reinforce that in your unconscious mind. So suddenly you just feel good for no particular reason other than you've programmed it into your subconscious mind and then ultimately into your feelings as well. I love it. Okay, I'm coming. That's brilliant. I've decided. Um, thank you. I know a lot. We've got lots of questions in the um, in the chat, and people are talk asking about price. I know that we've been sharing. We'll be sharing the links and everything. Um, but the price. So, so the in the room price is um, six hundred and ninety nine pounds. 
um, plus a booking fee. But there are, as I say, there are only about 15 spaces left in the room. Now, this is the last chance to see Paul in person or work with Paul in person um, this year. So you're not doing it for, for the rest of 2024, am I right? I'm not doing any public events. Uh, no, that's right. The, the, um, I, I mean, I have some corporate stuff, but no, this is the last chance to work with me in, in a public event this year. Amazing. Now, um, there's obviously the online experience as well. Now, the online experience, anyone that's joined the webinar this evening, the first 20 people to book the online experience will get £100 off. So it's... Um, so it'll be 699 but that will come down to 599 plus the booking fee if you use the code power100 all of these details will be shared somewhere um in in the in the room um so we were looking at this and we broke down that actually it works out Paul about a pound a minute now could i possibly book you for a pound a minute anywhere else in the world <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, you know, I think when it comes to people often say, you know, isn't it rather expensive, you know, spending a few hundred pounds on a weekend? And I say, if it's going to be uh, a weekend that changes your life for the better, that you look back on, say, in months or years from now and you go, you know, I'm suddenly free of that that block. Uh, that self-sabotage. I'm more confident. You know, I mean, I would say the other day, right, this guy's radio um, broadcast was interviewing me and I wrote a book about 20 years ago on confidence. And before we went on the air, he said, I just got to tell you something. Um, I, I read your book on confidence about 20 years ago. And I said, oh, you know, was it helpful? He said, well, you know, I, I, yeah, I had really poor internal dialogue. I was always criticizing myself. There was a girl at the radio station I really wanted to ask out. And so I used the techniques to, you know, make myself more confident. I said, yeah, and what happened? He said, we've been married for 15 years, right? So, you know, when people say to me, is, isn't it a bit much? I say, you know, how much is a happy life, which is what we, me and Steve are setting out to help you achieve worth? And, you know, a two-day investment, um, I think, is, um, you know, a pretty straightforward and 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 a good offer. I mean, I, I love my job. I'm going to be there anyway. If you want to join us, please do. Paul, thank you so, so much. I think we're about at time and I just wanted to thank everybody so much for coming. Um, we'll, there's, uh, Josh, there's lots of questions in the, um, are there any questions that we need to cover that have, um, that have popped up in the chat? Is there one recurring question? That's always the, the best way. If yeah. There's, if there's one that loads of people are asking. That's always the best question to go with, I think. Is there a recurring question? I think people are possibly when is it and how to book online so the promo code is power 100 josh thank you are you there yeah no we'll bring the promo code up in a second one of the other popular questions is asking around what's the difference between online and in person is am i getting the same value by being online well no you see again this is really interesting it is a good question this because um some people like to be in an auditorium with you in person but other people actually prefer not to have, say, the expense of travel and accommodation. And they want to watch you in their living room or their study and, you know, turn you on and, and participate as you can um, or to sit back and observe. Um, so it really depends on your preference. I mean, certainly since um, the pandemic, everybody's gotten used to, to doing video conferencing. And what I'm finding and lots of other uh, self-improvement companies are finding is that more people want to do it online now particularly, you know, uh, those people who are in, you know, uh, foreign countries, et cetera, who don't want to travel, uh, than necessarily want to be in the room. But, you know, it just depends on your preference is what I would say. Amazing. Thank you. And I think um, if I've read a load of your books, I'm a big Paul McKenna fan. I've done, I've been and seen you before. I've, I've done online stuff with you before. Like what's, what's new about this one? What can we expect okay. that's, um, that's going to be different? Great question. Okay. Look, no two events are ever the same. Now, if you have been to one before or been to this, we did this last year, me and Steve did, um, you might want to come to reinforce what you did, but also, excuse me, <clears throat> you, uh, you will find we, we actually do have some new one or two new things but essentially what we've covered tonight is the essence of the training 
And as I mentioned, this the no two events are the same. I mean, I've had people say to me, I've come, you know, several times to one of your things because I want to refresh. I want to reboot. I want to be in even better shape. I got so much value last time. I want to come back and have it all over again. You know, and, and that's that's what I would say to people. Be, if you've read a book, by the way, and you thought, yeah, I kind of enjoyed it. And if you watched tonight and you got some value from it, imagine instead of 45 minutes, you had two days of this. Imagine what mm. sort of difference that'll make to your life. Well, I'm in. I'm very excited by it. Thank you so much, Paul. Um, I know that people in the um, in the audience are um, are just as grateful. I'm kind of talking for them to show my gratitude. So thank you so so much. Um, the the QR code is on the screen right now, and all that's left for me to do is say. Paul McKenna, the great. Thank you very, very much for joining you, us. Donna. And we will see you in October. See you then. Thank you. God bless. Be, be safe, be well. Be lucky.